Manny requests the box again. Okay, one of the mods uh, sent Manny uh, a request. Who's the Indian dude? One to while we waiting on Manny. Very cool. <laughs> I think Manny ran. Uh, now for the show in under five seconds. Just was a basic science. <laughs> right. I'm still pulling something up. Indian, a mutual mic. Oh, he ran too. So, before I show y'all this, let me ask y'all a question. Oh, nice. Let me ask y'all two questions. I'm for the prove. I'm for the prove it right now for the final nail in the goddamn coffin that black people were here in in freaking America before 1492. Oh, that's why they ran. Nigga, if you had this, so why the fuck you sign the contract? Hey, shut up. Hey, let's go ahead and prove. It. Let me ask. Let me ask the panel. No. Let me ask the panel the question. Somebody, somebody got their TV or something going on. Oh, hold on. Let me ask the panel a question. How long does a body take to fully be petrified? Like you got to get you got to get past the deco on uh, decomposed on uh, decomposed stage, and then we're gonna reach the falsification a thousand, phase. A thousand, a thousand, a hundred thousand years? A hundred thousand years? Shit, I don't. Know. Yeah, I would, I would say about like a hundred years. I would say a hundred years, maybe or fifty. Five thousand to ten thousand years. So basically, petrification is another form. It's a natural way of the Earth. It's mom. It's it's Earth's natural way of mummification. Okay, so I'm for to show something real quick. I was way off. I said a hundred years. <laughs> Petrified school. Hold on, not this one. Not this one. Hold up. Not this one. This right here. A petrified Negro. The mobile news says that a petrified Negro has been discovered in the garret of an undertaker of, what's that say, Roanoke, North Carolina. This is the first news we have had. Of, of the aforesaid petrified Negro. Besides, we have no um, recollection of ever yeah, having heard of a town in North Carolina by the name of Ryan Oak. I mean, Ryan Oak. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, here's another one. The petrified Negro. Yeah. The Codron. It says a petrified Negro has been found two miles south of this city uh, near this uh, natural wolf by Edward Rosater. Now, basically, again, I'm going to jump on down. It says the teeth are plainly visible in the skull. And it says the skull, head, and lips are those of a Negro. Again, petrified Negro. This is found in America. How long does it take for a body to become petrified? 
5,000 to 10,000 years. This is proof right here. They was found, they was finding petrified Negroes here in America that predates Columbus up to 10,000 years. Guess what? That goes all the way back to you motherfuckers coming to the alleged Bering Strait too. They said up to 10 yeah. to 15,000 years. I got some more too. I got a whole bunch. All these articles right here. It's talking about the same goddamn thing. Just a whole bunch of different type of Negroes find, found here. Now I got some that says, says petrified skulls, but this is what this is what a petrified individual. Do you have Juan like. Garrido while you're at it? This is a petrified individual, right? Do you here. have Juan Garrido, Spanish conquistador? This is. Why are you saying, yeah, do you have him on file? Ever since I showed that man, bro, that's all you've been talking about. Do you? That's what I'm saying. Why don't you go have some fun and go make a chat and invite African Americans hey, and show me ass and watch question. how they treat Hey, it was a simple question. Okay, but why don't, like I said, go have fun and go show these African Americans and blacks well, about that black conquistador and see how they I treat the you. One, I was okay. the one called hey, here, up here, so I asked I'm sorry, I'm question. sorry but uh, so let me let me finish this last one real quick. It says here to say here to say struck on the. Here to say struck one of his pet theories and worked it out in this way. They all had the long, slim hands and feet of savages. Who is the savages? And and these and other um, particulars. Uh, wait, what is a part? Partic yeah, particulars. They were exactly like the petrified Negro found in the rocks near Quadron, Nebraska. I mean, Ch I mean, Quadron, uh, Nebraska. So, again, I'm going to read the rest of it. And it says, which I am inclined to think dates back to the vast antiquity for a black race probably constituted the first inhabitants of all the continents of all the continents. That means America included. And these are old newspaper clips. Here's the uh, source right here. The Saint, the Saint Paul Globe, 1893. Yeah, June 18th. So I can download it. Do you know they about to oh, try to sabotage this? Oh, you got to pay. I, I already got it. You got to pay like $50 to, uh, a month to get to these newspapers. These old ass exactly. newspapers. Exactly. See? See what can happens when you invest uh, money into Look, hey, K, hey, check Journal. this out. Hey, can you bring Cajun up here and tell him to, I want you, I want Cajun to prove that it's a hoax because he's screaming at hoax without no evidence. So, Cajun, can you please come up here? The white guy that's passing as a Native American. Can he come up here and prove hey, that this is a hoax? Hey, it costs money. I'll send you. I'll send you. Uh, I'll send you Christopher Columbus's journal link if you want. I got Columbus's journal. Um, can I please say something? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Arcadian is up in here. What up, Arcadian boy? <laughs> Look, y'all, listen. First of all, never Hold once ever said I'm I was indigenous. Wait, Two, wait. It's not Arcadian. Wait, it's Cajun. Acadian. C Cajun, Cajun, y'all. Hold up. Wait, wait. I noticed that every time y'all get spacked in y'all face with evidence, y'all move the goalposts. Now evidence has been shown more than one source. That's a hoax. Y'all moving the goalposts. Y'all move the goalposts. The, oh, the goalposts keep moving. Y'all need to y'all need to just deal with it, bro. Just deal with it. Prove it. It's a hoax. You could you could Google those words. It. Prove it. Oh my and God. Show that it's a hoax. Prove it. Here's the here's he'll. That's the link. That's no. the link that shows it's a hoax. Pet petrified also states that when something is petrified, the materials or the organic is replaced by mineral. Petrified wood is no longer wood. It's replaced with minerals. A petrified body and a mummified body are two different things. I said that is Earth's natural way of mummification. I didn't say it was no, mama. Hush, not. hush your mouth, because because you really just really no, cut yourself. How long? You, how long? How long you gotta be and mummified or Cajun, two different things? Cajun. How long you gotta be in the ground for you to become materialized? Materialized. What, what do you mean materialized? Mineralized. Mineral. Mineralized. Mineral. Start eating your ass up. Mineralize and materialize. How how long does it take? When organic material turns is replaced by mineral minerals, 
It depends on change the is composition is. to minerals, not exchange. Right. Yes. It's, it's replaced. Okay. It's so replaced. how long does that take? So it could depend on what it is. Sometimes it takes millions how, of years. How long does a human body take? Of, how long does a human body take? Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, but I already put I already put it up. It already predates 1492, so he could shut the hell up with all this shit. He's going to his his bullshit source that's gonna combat that. That's why he has to hurry up. You know, he got you know they got websites that they go to combat everything. So that's what he's and he gotta prove that this newspaper is a hoax, not going to somewhere else and try to throw it on this newspaper. That ain't how you deal with it. That's not how you deal with it. So so ten thousand years, like you said in your in your um thank you in your thing. Thank you. But that you it ain't no but specific picture of article that you bro, showed. Bro, that's a newspaper. Bro, that's a newspaper. Now okay. you gotta you gotta show okay. that the newspaper is false. And I got I got plenty I of more. I just I just sent you the link. That link is not contrary to this newspaper. They're just talking about petrification. Talking about the person who found the body has been shown to be a hoax. Bro, just like the article, that article, like is, the article is talking about petrification. The, it's not talking ooh. about this newspaper. Petrification. Like, why are you, why are you, you said it's found in the article that you just showed. Showed it was found okay. in Shadron, Nebraska. All I had to Google was those words. Okay. In Shadron, let me turn. Nebraska, let me turn this one on real up. quick because I got a whole bunch of more. You can keep on playing. Okay. okay. We can keep on playing. Put me on the big screen. I don't know who said I claim to be indigenous. I never want I to claim to be. That's indigenous. like how you just came up here. I don't know why y'all act like this man ain't gay. I got sources upon sources, sources upon sources. Sources, sources. Book, okay, sources, sources don't mean nothing book. if they could be Stop proven false. Then why does his ass even have an opinion on it? If he ain't never said that, or if he's not indigenous himself, or you know, American Indian himself, you Arcadian ass descendant. Why the fuck? Acadian. Right, Whatever, bro. I know your I know your history. Why you Why you not proud? Why you not proud? It ain't told nobody about your genocide. Why did I have to go do the research? Hold on, y'all. Do not genocide. say no goddamn debunk when y'all ain't even bothered to even go look at the sources or anything to display. Y'all just got a hate towards me and you just yelling debunk. That just show how truly you are, how truly you are in the fucking heart. Y'all are not honest at all. So fucking go do your so damn you due still, diligence. You, you, Hold on, wait. I'm not talking. I'm not talking to you, Cajun. Saying Indian. I'm not talking to you, Cajun. Those of y'all in the comments that saying debunk. Hold on, hold on, bro. Those of y'all that saying debunk in the comments and saying hoax, go do your due diligence because I seen a number of you faces like Doc and this dude named Three. Y'all got to fucking hate towards me. So anything that goes uh, that goes contrary towards me, you automatically gonna say fucking debunk. You not fucking being That's honest. True. First of all, yeah, you're true. a flat earther, so already you have to, you kind of have to take what you say with a grain of salt because you're already, yeah. you already so, a flat so wait, earther. So wait, so wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this, you said so, what? So you're, wait, hold on, Kay. wait, Kaysen, so you're saying that the ancestors and the tree of life and that whole picture that oh every civil when you are constantly putting I'm just words asking, in people's mouths. I'm just <laughs> asking, is that Cap? Is that Cap or no? The tree of life is Cap? What tree of life? You fucking idiot. Well, you talk about the evolutionary tree of life? Hey, but uh, I'm going to dive into this. Go ahead and debunk this one. It says Washington uh, Smithsonian scientists are puzzling over the possibility that there might have been blacks in the West Indies, which they really was. Cause I got more sources more than two centuries before Columbus. Institutions and anthropologists are studying two male Negro skeletons unearthed in an abandoned virgin uh, island cemetery. Soil from the earth layers where the skeletons were found has been dated at the at the year uh, 1250. Although scientists note that the skeletons could be of slaves buried later, which is a freaking lie, because they just said all this up here. And already so, existing. Hold on, let me finish, because that was just conjecture. And it says later in already existing Indian uh, cemeteries. Why are Negroes buried in Indian uh, cemeteries in the West Indies? Now it says so the article itself said the skeleton was found in a layer that dated 1250. That's very much possible. That doesn't mean the skeletons themselves. Pagan, stop. Just stop. That's just stop. Hear him all, you're like, doing, all you're doing, all you're doing is a path, bro. bro. Are you all, all you're doing is coming from an opinion. That's all you're doing. And it says the mystery may be clear. Well, you the mystery, hear him all too, though. Everyone opinion. has a right to an opinion, no? Everybody want to bring that goddamn opinion, opinion and don't want to really prove anything. You're not proving shit. 
And it says the music talks. Some who knows. Look. Can I ask something real quick? Go ahead. How did they date these dinosaur bones? Didn't they date them based off of the rock bed that they was found in? Yes. That the fact that you bring it back to dinosaur, dinosaur bones to show no, that Columbus times listen, with bones listen, don't collapse listen, together. Listen, Cajun, because you're, you're missing the point. The point is they found some ancient bones in bedrock and they dated it based off the bedrock that they found the bones in. So if right. they did that for dinosaurs, why wouldn't they do that for ancient human remains as well? Because the same minerals that are in that layer have not replaced no, organic material in the bones, which y'all is listen. fossilization. Y'all listen, hold up. Y'all, at the end of the day, these people hate us. They don't want to see us more than them at all. They want everybody to be on, on top of us. But they're hating the fact that we can see ourselves, find ourselves, and we can connect to something. As long as y'all walk around this mug lost, and don't know yourself that's how they like you to be because they can swindle in and convince you of something that's how they take people's identity by claiming it now that we see ourselves all over the world that exactly. ain't true. oh that ain't you exactly. oh that ain't you oh that ain't you prove that it's not well, like I be said, real didn't you tell me i'm not Cajun. white Cajun. what Cajun, Cajun, what Cajun need white. to do he need to bring his ass up here on the big screen and prove the shit instead of sitting up here talking so come this up here teach us all teach us teach us this bullshit that you're talking is opinion the bruh this is the all right opinion. here go another one negro turned to stone a to stone a petrified negro was found on the um west sea i don't know what west sea mean flint's form in salt creek valley in salt creek valley a few days ago it was dug up wednesday night and hauled to the city uh, yesterday the body is six feet long the arms are folded across the breast and the fingers and toes are perfect showing even where the nails were. The face is well defined and one ear is gone. It created much excitement in the valley. Now tell me tell me how this is a fucking hoax. It's a newspaper article. Shut the fuck up. We done here. There's, we done. there's no Bye. other place we, to say something. No, no, no. All right, all right, check this out. All right, hey, 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 y'all, hey, y'all, just by hey, y'all, just by, just by his statement, just by his statement, fucking Lucy. It's fucking false because she was first brought out in an article in newspaper. Fucking Luzia exactly. is fucking false. Fucking all anthro look, look, fucking all hey, listen, hey. all homo sapiens is false. All astroepiphagus, all that bullshit is false because it was in a newspaper. It was in an article first. Hey, hey, so shut on, the fuck up. It's not the same. And how long occasion before you got up here? UFO landing is proof of UFOs. How crazy you sound because right before you got up here, right, we went through the B we went to the BIA website and went and looked at the first six steps how to BIA. I'm talking about the anthropological the, evidence. Last that and that number one is number presenting. one Cajun said newspaper article. So if a newspaper article can help you identify yourself as an individual, fuck I don't is you talking care about what the BIA said? I'm talking about the anthropological evidence that Lord is that was anthropo uh, that was okay, anthropological okay, so look, stop, evidence stop, right stop up right there. Wait, wait. That has been shown to wait, be I'm, I'm gonna show y'all a fallacy in what he just said. Okay, so look, he even though it's in a newspaper, it's still coming from a person that does anthropology and Where's craniology. The Where's the evidence to back this? The, the evidence Where is, is the, 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 the body. The Where's the body? Listen. Got listen it. to me. Listen. The, oh my God. The evidence is what he just read. Look, he's even though it's in a newspaper, they're giving you the report in a newspaper. No. no, no. Hey, I'm no, 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 no. He said, show, where, "You I'm gotta he show where's the body." Evidence, no, no, he's asking where's the body, bro. In a newspaper. Go post. You're a buster. Look, There's no goalpost no movement. Oh, All right, Cajun, what do you have to refute the source? What do you have to refute the source that was just posted? Why don't you get on the big screen and you tell something? What to, Hold up, y'all. Peep game. False? Listen, 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 listen. Y'all pay attention to the name of the game. Now, watch the peep game. When they was posting slavery, sl slaves for sale on a newspaper, they'll believe that. You see, that actually when, when they was advertising, hold up, I'm talking, I'm talking. When they was advertising Negroes for sale, this for sale, this Negro, short brown Negro for sale in the newspaper, they'll believe that. <laughs> but they, they, but they, but they don't because you could find, you could find talking, the actual receipts of people being sold, not just the newspaper I'm, article. Okay. 
Hold up, wait, 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 Cal calm down, calm down, sir. You didn't even let me finish talking. When they was advertising so-called slaves in the newspaper, they'll believe that, you see, because that's the only story that they want you to believe. And again, I mean, Lars just got up here and showed articles of black people being here already. You don't believe an article that. article of somebody I'm claiming talking, to have found the body. I'm, I'm talking, that's I'm talking. Bro, stop talking, bald head. I'm talking. Okay. But at the end of the day, we also have that proof. We got explorers proof. We got our ancestors that told us who we was, and that's still not enough. You still want to keep pushing this on us. You still want to keep pushing it on us. It's no. not working. We it's don't not about pushing on you. It's, you it's yeah, all right. I can I, I can bring up something right now. He made a claim. There, what other proof is to back up that claim? How come so, you never bring Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before all, what about Mansa Musa? Uh, are there other recordings what? and documents of Mansa Musa? Y'all believe that. Y'all believe Mansa Musa came over here, but when we tell y'all that we was here when the time that Mansa Musa. Y'all need to just show sources and stop. Y'all show sources. Ricky and Cajun, what do you I have? I just asked a question. That was it. That's what it was. And now look who well, got triggered. Why don't you ever bring up a source? Why is that? Why'd you get triggered? That shows what you're on. No, why don't you ever bring up a source to, to try to discredit another source that's being presented? To you're the one you fending for. You're the one fending for it. So you show us before we okay, do so, for you. So 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 what's Mansa Musa and, and, and connection from Pangea or Africa to America? Show us, show us proof. Show us proof that there's um, uh, Africans hey, C3. in America. Please, please, and let him in. Hey, C3, hold on. I want to ask you a question, Mr. Ricky, about Mansa Musa. So when he came over here, when he took those three ships with those people on there, who do the fuck you think he saw? Who do you think he was taking all that stuff back to? So why is that to this day? There's no That's evidence. That's a question. Of Answer Musa the question. Ships. Since you want to bring up Mansa Musa, why is there no evidence? Why is there no evidence of Mansa Musa ships question. or wreckages at all? Answer that question. Why don't you answer that question? Answer why my question. There is no Mansa Musa ships evidence why, at all. So no why don't you answer that? Y'all scared? You can't even answer the question. You want to answer the question with the question. So shut the Someone fuck up if you ain't got the evidence, if you ain't got the source or nothing to prove it. Okay, so why don't you justify your answer? How about that? Why don't you justify your question? I just asked you the question. All right, so since you want to try to direct it at me for I'm asking you the question. You're who so do you confident. think Mansa Musa so when he justify went back so to the Americas? Who All do right. you think he seen? Who do you think he was traveling right. back to? I'm, I, 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 all right, so what he described the people when he came Answer the question. So when he stumbled upon land, what did he describe it as? Answer the question. I have the journal. I have the journal. It's 90 pages Answer long. Answer the question, so if you really sir. Want to get type, I can pull it up on your ass. Answer the question, sir. You said right. you have I got it. Exactly. So shut up. Ask your small on the question. You said, wait. Ask your small on the question. Hold on. You said, you said you need more context. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christopher Columbus said anything else they have to say. Christopher Columbus said something else they have to say. Answer the journal. Christopher Columbus said, "Ski so when he came through." Show us source. Yeah, just, All right. Wait. What? How, how long, y'all? Hold on, y'all. I gotta ask a question. Let me ask him quick. You say, you say, you say, Christopher Columbus yeah, saw. Just stick to the sources. Yeah. Just stick to the sources. Stop giving them a way out. I'm. I'm gonna stick to the. I'm gonna stick to the source to uh, Christopher Columbus. When you say Chris, you said Christopher Columbus said he saw what? What did he say he saw? Because there's a lot of fake ones out here. So what what you say Christopher Columbus say he saw? Go ahead and tell. Bingo. That, that's why I was trying to there ask that he say Answer. Christopher Columbus journal or Mansa Musa journal because we was on the topic of Mansa Musa. So that's why I was trying to clarify because there was a lot of people talking at once. Oh, okay. But the thing is, to this day, there is no evidence at all of Mansa Musa and the Atlantic voyage. They so said that it that was, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, again, and again, and again, I'm going to keep it clear, and I'm going to keep it clear, if there is, let's say, African DNA in uh, Americas, that's fine, we claim that, see, hey, respectfully, see, real look, talks, real talks. That's where you messed up at, because you keep but, on but, but the claim game is what's, what The claim game is what's the issue, and again, when it comes to 
low information. Like like when it comes to low information, like when it comes to people have, like you, like you, you can't mean, even bro, define. Bro, you I, can't even I'm define sorry, the Columbus who, who boy. Is. is it Ricky the one talking? You never show sources. No, I think it's Kunjin trying to talk. Oh, was that you, Ricky? If that was you, that was then I, I misdirected my question towards the wrong person. Is there anything from them until they show a source? I mean, look, that statement that you just made to C3 about some, you trying to discredit a source. I mean, nobody not bringing a source. I mean, bro, you could literally point the fingers right back at your own self, bro. Because I'm the only one. I, I don't know what people did before I got up here, but I'm the only one that been bringing up sources. This is my last source I'm going to bring up. Since y'all want to talk about anthropology and things like that, let's go ahead and prove it. And stop associating Negro and black to African. Go ahead and please go do your due diligence and learn everything about what that word really is and what what it really means. Because y'all truly don't fucking know. Y'all looking at the 20th century version of that. Go look at the 16th century of what a Negro is and everything. Okay, but it says this 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 article is called Man, a monthly record of anthropological science since page you want to see this type of shit published under the direct um, the direction of the Royal Anthropological Institute of Great Britain and Ireland, April 1939. See, I was going to use this for a brown girl pride, but it wasn't no need to. But it says the original article with plate D. Now, I'm going to show you the score before I read. This is the scores. Two scores from the West Indies. Male Negro from Barbados, British West Indies. And it says undeformed male Indian from Cuba. These are Negro skulls that they find found since you said, oh, I need to see something, blah, 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 blah. I got more skulls, too. It says a Negro skeletal remains from the Indi from Indian sites in the West Indies by T.D. Stewart, Division of Physical Anthropology, United States National Museum, Washington, D.C. The recent paper in the journal by Buck, um, Buston, Trevor and Julian, a uh, man. 1938, 47 implies that an undeformed Negro physical um, physical type inhabited the Virgin Islands in pre-Columbian times. Not only is this implication contrary to previous accepted findings for the uh, Antillian, Antillian er, uh, area, as well. As will be shown later, but it also fails to give an adequate consideration to the pro uh, possibility of these skeletal remains representing intrusive Negro burials. And it says the mere presence of the skeletons in a sand or shell mound of Indian origin lacking the careful uh, stra uh, stra stratigraphic strat uh, I can't even say that word. Sorry. But of uh, records. It's not certain evidence of primary association with the company artifacts. Moreover, I venture to say that few physical anthropologists familiar with the American Indian schools will, mistaken, will mistake for Indians those illustrated by Buxton, Trevor, and Julian. Indeed, most physical anthropologists will probably be less conservative, less conservative, they won't be fucking honest, and say Negro instead of Negroid. So they literally send up telling you, I mean, there's a lot more to it. They literally send up telling you when they came to the West Indies, they found in burial mounds of, I mean, burial mounds of Negroes. This has come from an anthropologist. This is an anthropology, uh, anthropological work. So again, you're going to have to stop fucking denying this shit because you just want us to be Africans. You just want us to be slaves. We've been here. Because that's going to, once you, once you, Figure okay. all this shit out. You, that whole slave narrative that all Negroes come from Africa, a lot of shit in history, you will see that all of this is lies and you're going to have to start back over on every fucking thing. Okay, so Ricky yeah, or Casey, Casey, Ricky. Do y'all have, have anything or no? Is That's what I'm just trying to figure out. Anything. Please give me something. Any, anything what? To Any source you want to put screen? what he just read. The article itself says it implies. So again, the article is saying that they don't have hard evidence. The article they itself said, said the first goddamn implies. sentence. It applies that undeformed Negro physical type inhabited the Virgin Islands in pre-Columbian times. They literally said it in the first fucking sentence, dude. If I read the rest of it, it's gonna tell you the measurement of these skulls and all this type of shit. I just wanted to read the first paragraph just to cut it short. Now I can read the rest if you want me to.
Hey, yo, this this shit is sad. Look, I I, I stand on being humble, humble, and stand on honesty when it comes to scholarship. Look, it doesn't matter what you show these natives and these pale people, they are just gonna deny the shit in, into the grave. It's like there's no honesty in this shit. And look, I, I I like to put myself in the shoes of another person. If I was on the opposite side, if I was a native and I was hearing that information right now, I will yeah, we'll I, I will be humble enough to be like, damn, I never heard that before. Let me do more research on that. See, I never knew that. I will be humble enough to do that. We can't even get that from y'all. But, but y'all want to talk about some, some unity with other people. No, fuck that mm. shit. This is why we stick to our own kind and rep for our own people because of that that type of disingenuousness right there. Y'all can't even be honest about a fucking source. At that point, you just stunt your growth. But um, was he saying he wanted to see proof, like DNA proof, that we were here before? <laughs> Every time, every time we pushed, so he kept moving the the whole goalpost. Every time, to the point where he said, "Where's the body?" <laughs> he said, "I want to see the body." <laughs> but that logic, Man, like, but their on. logic, no, but their logic, no article should be acceptable. So hey, includes- article. I seen somebody said the word implies. Do you not understand what they um what you're reading? First of all, they was talking about whether to call it Negro or Negroid. That was the argument. They knew it was a Negro person. They wanted to decipher it to call it Negro or Negroid. That's the reason I read it all the way through so you can get the understanding of the of the um of the conjectures that was going on in there. Now, do you understand people that kept saying, um, do I understand what the fuck I'm reading? I highlighted it for a damn reason. You gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta understand that they, they're never gonna admit to what it is because if they admit to it then it, it, it's a clear show that they clearly was working with the men to do the thing you know what i mean so if they working with them then why would they admit to it and they're, they're not going to admit to that what oh shit what is uh, that? These? Yeah. right i was i was agreeing with you because by these their are logic, uh, my uh... Then, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I wasn't looking at my phone. These just my uh, DNA results. I did it uh, back in 2013. And then uh, they had updated and then totally removed it and put everything back in um, Africa. So I know the guys were saying, uh, the other guy, I think he was saying that he wanted like a person for proof and for DNA that shows. And I don't look anything like a Native American. I look like you guys, you know? So I don't know if any of you guys have done it, but uh, if you were able to capture them point to where it actually showed and they switched it back over, I was able to see that they did that with mine. What are you showing us? I can't see the screen. What is that? Uh, my uh, it says that people uh, your signal is better. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say what I was gonna say while while um, she probably got a phone call. But I was gonna say by that logic, um, that he was saying, talk about something that's an article. If that's the case, no article article should be acceptable. Even these newer day articles that's put up on the internet and that can be updated by anybody. No article should be accepted if that's by that case by by their logic and their standards. That's saying that you're seventy percent indigenous. If I'm reading that right, it says that. So basically, it it went it showed accurately one time, and then they removed everything and just everything's in Africa. So okay, I don't know if say? any of you that have done it that it was able. No, they sabotaged so, it. They either so we have, have we have. That's what I'm getting at. 
I think my connection is bad. I'm going to go connect to Wi-Fi. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, now we can. It's better now. Yeah, well, your signal is bad. And the one you're showing is before they switched it. If you go take if you take a DNA test right now, if I were to take a DNA test right now and send it off, it will come back with a certain percentage. If I were to do it again, it's going to come back. Every time I do it, it's not going to be the same. So that doesn't make no sense right now. I'll put a thousand dollars on it right now. Anybody do a DNA test, take three of them bitches or four of them bitches and send them all off at different times. And I guarantee you the results are every single one of them going to be different. Me as we speak. <laughs> hey, and when it comes to these DNA tests too, a lot of people don't know that the uh the highest percentage of people that take these uh spit tests is uh pale Canadians. So you need to be asking yourself who are they really comparing your DNA to? And again, I I'm, I'm gonna drop this fact on y'all. The human genome project started in 1990. From 1990 to uh, 2003, um, that's when they ended the project. They've only uh, obtained 20,000 to 25,000 samples. That's not enough to be comparing your DNA to even just that that small sample base and telling you where you're from. And, 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 and one of the main uh, limitations of DNA testing is they cannot tell you race or ethnicity. And, and majority Simple. of the people that you mentioned bro majority of them are european descent so if you actually have majority of descent our bloodline in america you're actually doing yourself a disservice facts you're moving backwards so while y'all were talking i pondered where the term negro came from in the first place these people are from an island in the philippines called negro the same thing they said about indigenous americans is the same thing they said about these people that they were from africa these and the thing are, about it these is, people are not from africa these people are indigenous to south asia are those so the negritos is, yeah negritos yes. so this is they pro mm -hmm. this is probably what they saw when they came over here yeah. The degree to hey, this now you know that's my insight. These people right here, if you want to make an Asian person or anybody who's Japanese or Asian descent or from that area, call their ass a degree to and watch how they act. They some of them don't even know. Somebody that, that, um, that's why we try to tell people, people in America, people in general, y'all have to understand how indoctrinated we are collectively just as a generation. And, and, and as a generation, most. Chinese, Asian, I don't care, whatever demographic, here in America, we just going to use America. If I were to walk up to the ass right now and be like, hey, bro, um, keep him, what do you know about the degree toes? If I, if I were to be like, what do you know about the degree toes? He would, he, it's a high chance he don't know, no clue that that's his indigenous. Right. He don't know that he made the sin from these fucking people and he's a chap, Japanese, Chinese person and don't and know shit about the degree toes. Somebody in the comments said, which proves Africans did move east. The I'm reading it right now. These people do not have African genetics. They don't come from Africa. They are indigenous to South Asia. Right, and and the skull that I have up on my screen is a um, Negro skull found in the US. Hey, can you put me on the uh, big screen real quick? Kentucky, I don't have that mod, no. He said Chinese and Japanese took Africa. It's like, no, it's not about them. It's not about that. It's the fact that people don't even oh, know that these people, these are the indigenous of, like she said, of Asia. There's people that live there, Asians right now, that don't know about these people. That is a problem. Now, I want to show y'all something real quick. They got us thinking Negro mean African. Negro mean we look like these people. <laughs> I want to show y'all something real quick. Look, this, this, shit is wild. <laughs> this right here, this is all the people allegedly, according to DNA tests, that took the spit test is related to me, allegedly. And they compare it to everybody, and they compare it to all these people. All right. Make sure your name's not showing, bro, so people don't try to dox you. So, like, when you see these people, I don't care if they do or not, but... So I already got dots before I don't give it down. But look, it says like these people 
right here. See two people right here in Mexico. It's going to reflect on the DNA test that it is going to show Central America and stuff like that. But for them to say you are African, they got to have a test from somebody in Africa to compare it to to say, hey, well, you part of this, you part of that, you part of that. On my test, I don't have no one in Africa. No one. Absolutely no one. Exactly. I got, I got exactly. one person. I, exactly. I got one person in Wales. But guess what? That's not a white person. It's a neat yeah, job. It's a because black person. If y'all, this is what y'all been um, for, so y'all finally I'll see got y'all it. So he ain't got nothing. Um, what up, what up? Go. Y'all if y'all familiar it? with, uh, if y'all familiar with, uh, let's say, uh, how 23 and Me break it down, right? See, everybody likes to chop up the ans- uh, the ancestry composition part where it show you all your percentages and stuff. They like to chop it up as that explains your ancestry and it doesn't. OK, that's based on something called DNA markers. It's characteristics, physical characteristics is what that's, you know, based on. It's not necessarily saying. <laughs> Oh, you related to these people over in Africa, right? Even when you go on her, it it would say we have not detected any matches relating to that you have recent ancestries in this area. So um Chief Natural is right. You don't we like if you go on her, majority of everybody will not have matches in Africa. You may have matches in uh, Europe and all over the Americas, but even when you go, let, let's say, let's say you 20 percent, let's say it's say, oh, you 20 percent West African or something. Right. You can click on those specific areas and it will literally tell you it would say it will go down and it will, it will tell you right if you had matches in those specific areas and it would say not detected nigeria not detected we got to understand see everybody they don't look they don't dive into what the results is actually saying it's not saying that you have any ancestors from africa because the ancestry composition testing part is different from the way that they test you um compared to dna relatives dna markers the ancestry composition part is not like oh um this oh oh this oh we're gonna take this african over here and we're gonna we're gonna compare it. that's a reference dna that's reference dna right that's based on characteristics that people have like how much melanin they have in their skin um you know what's their hair type what's their eye color then with these dna with these particular characteristics in these d and and those uh dna markers then they group everybody up, all of the humans up into different groups to, to suggest that, OK, by our theory, the out of Africa theory, we're going to we just going to go off of this model here and say that all humans started in Africa. So if we take all of these DNA markers and we group them up, then we can say, OK, um, this is where we're going to this is where we're going to start. And we assume that our Negroes originated in africa right but when you start to when they start when you start to go into autosoma dna testing see there the all of these are different types of testing you got auto uh, autosoma dna testing you have um you have mt uh dna testing okay you have y dna testing right you have all of these different tests and people is just confusing the hell out of them all right and then they they think that one part of the test means that oh this means all my ancestors right here came from africa no you have no relative no fifth cousins no sick no matches at all over into west africa they will tell you even on the website to only use the test to connect with dna matches you talk to those people Okay, y'all share y'all genealogy with each other and y'all figure out, okay, where are your ancestors from? Okay, majority of all so called black Americans have DNA testing only 
I mean, uh, only have matches in the United States. In the United States. In the United States, in the Americas, and then from some parts of uh of Europe. Okay? And they would they would that that's why you take any of the the um any of the genealogists who do DNA and all that stuff like that, they do not rely on that ancestry composition part because like I say, that's the part right there that I'm uh Amaru was saying that's always different. That's DNA marker testing. It has nothing to do with uh you being blood related to anybody from any other landmass, okay? We we have to understand what they testing here. <laughs> They're not testing you being related to these people, okay? We are all, oh, look, we share 80% of the same DNA with a damn pig, right? Right. Right? Don't so, of pig. course, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying What I'm saying here is, like, when it, whenever they doing DNA testing, right, just... Y'all, just like how we get deep with genealogy and doing research and stuff, we should do the same thing with understanding the science behind DNA testing to really see what they testing and how authentic this shit is. Because scientists have already confirmed that there are no type of DNA nuclear ties that would suggest that you are part of this land and you come from this land and you come from this land and you come from this land. There's no such thing. They, you know what I'm saying? That, that 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 science don't even exist. And we just eating it up. And while that. we not even reading that in the terms of agreement, in each one of these these companies that we test with will tell you that it is for entertainment purposes only. Okay? Entertainment purposes only. Why you think you can't take a DNA test to court to try to join one of the um the so-called civilized tribes. You can't do that shit. Oh, um, you know, you can't go in there and do that. They're going to ask you for records of your actual ancestors. They're going to need a they're going to need a, a paper trail and all that stuff. They, and then if and if you do provide that, they're going to base it off your skin color. You you don't speak this language or you don't, you know, you know, like that's what I'm saying, y'all. We got a lot we got to stop letting these people finesse us with this shit. You know what I'm saying? They like to throw all this DNA shit in our faces and all that shit like that. But then when when it come down to their processes and shit like that, they don't pull out DNA papers and shit. They they want to ask you for your ancestors' records. You know what I'm saying? They want to ask you for and like I say, uh, Amaru is right. When you take these tests, your markers is always gonna be different. Look up the two, the two uh twins, uh. The uh, two twin ladies, they took DNA tests and both of their results was different. There was a lady who, uh, um, a so-called black woman who took one of those DNA tests and they were saying she was white. So what I'm saying, guys, is that they just making up all of this shit. Look at uh, what um, Henry Louis Gates say about uh, genealogy DNA tests with him and Rick Kittles. He actually exposed both of them that they was back there making this shit up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they just finesse it's one big ass finesse, man. The only part of DNA testing that that you can really confirm that's real is the matches. That part that that part is based upon them actually <clears throat> um uh testing your auto autosoma DNA.